Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Hopefully you guys have had a great day so far and a great start to your work week. There are some things to talk about as confidence is being to somewhat increase that there's at least going to be a lot of energy flying around as we get into the latter part of this coming weekend into Valentine's Day, which is about a week away from today. Well, it is a week away from the day. So that's what we're going to break down this video. This video is, and you see, I don't have a whole lot of tabs pulled up here, but that doesn't mean that this isn't going to be an interesting video. We're really just going to give you the cut and dry information, what we do know, and we can really really discuss this on what the models are really showing this very well I think so that's what we're gonna do for you guys this evening if you guys have not subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button for me like the video if you like it there's some good stuff to discuss in this video so hit me up on my social media links you know when we're leading up to a storm system uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram it's a great way to stay up to date with constant updates uh, you know, I try to post at least every couple hours, so obviously I can't make a video every hour on YouTube. So it's a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest information. So definitely consider doing that. So I appreciate all the support. If you guys got anything I can pray about, please put it in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to pray for you guys. It gives others an opportunity to do so too. So I actually just gave you a little teaser of what I'm about to show you. But here we go. So we're getting into this weekend. Let me back it up into around the late week time frame. And... You know, it warms up throughout the week. It actually gets into the 60s in certain areas, depending on where you are in the first part of the weekend. We're getting into Saturday morning, and you notice the high pressure is starting to dip down. So we're going to take a look at the GFS, and then the European. Take a look at how much snow it's showing, because I know a lot of people want to see that. But please, when you look at these snowfall outputs, do please do not look at it as if it's going to happen. This is going to change a million times between now and then. And then we're going to take a look at the pieces of energy coming together, which is very important. So stay tuned for that. But here's the latest GFS, the one that just came out, just dropped about an hour ago. And you can pretty much see what's going on, even by the precipitation depiction here, as far as what's going on. You got energy coming out the Gulf. You got a little bit of a light snow showing up in the Ohio Valley, portions of Arkansas, as a, a broad trough dips down and a piece of the northern industry, industry energy fires up here. And you get something that really tries to come together, but it really doesn't quite do it. So the Gulf, this Gulf low pressure, pressure comes out, rides over North Florida, gets off the coast of the Southeast. And then at the same time, you have this energy from the Northern stream that tries to connect with it. Well, this piece of energy scoots out too quick. So the energy associated with the Northern stream, which is the trough dropping down, they don't connect here. And I'll show you here in a second in the vortice map of what I'm really talking about here. But still, you have enough vigorous energy with the northern stream that this fires up some moisture in areas of Virginia, um, eastern Tennessee, part, portions of Kentucky, West Virginia, and then it drops down and it funnels an area of uh, intense moisture that comes, you know, it, it breaks containment outside the mountains. It gets into the Piedmont, North Carolina, the upstate of South Carolina, and it shows some snow for areas of North Carolina, Virginia, and even South Carolina. This makes it all the way into the coastal areas of North Carolina as we're getting into Monday morning. Granted, I'm not talking, I need to mention the timestamps a little bit more. This is Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, overnight Sunday into Monday, and then we're getting into Sunday morning. Look at all the blue showing up in the Carolinas. So that's what that shows. It clearly shows that these two pieces of energy do not phase together, but there's enough energy off the trough that comes down from the northern piece of energy uh, that it still promote some snowfall for areas that don't typically see it. So we'll look at the latest European. What does this show? Well, it's kind of, I would say, not folded at all, but it kind of looks a little bit more like the GFS than it did maybe, I don't know, 12 hours ago or so or, or 24 hours ago. But here it is. It's, it's not much. You have energy off the northern stream. You have moisture coming out the Gulf from the southern stream, and they don't really come together at all. They try to here at the end as we're getting into Sunday evening in the form of some light snow across eastern North Carolina, but it's kind of a late bloomer, and a late, late bloomer to the point where it doesn't even affect really anybody hardly. And all it is is some light snow for portions of uh, North Carolina. We'll see what this shows overnight because it's going to be very interesting. This is going to bounce back and forth. I've seen this kind of scenario before, guys, where there's not much agreement, and then all of a sudden about two to three days out, there's an agreement, and all of a sudden there's a big storm. 
I would say there's more chances of this becoming a something a little bit more significant than there's more ch than there is for this becoming nothing at all. I'll I'll say that it's just just my gut feeling, and just um you know just history of checking out these kind of situations. But this is what the GFS uh, shows: is ten to one ratio, which I don't think that this would fall to ten to one ratio just due to marginal t uh, cold temperatures. But look at this: it shows accumulating snow through Charlotte, Raleigh, Greensboro, Winston Salem. Um, into Fayetteville, uh, all the way down to Columbia, Florence, um, accumulating snow into Virginia. And this is all just off the northern stream piece of energy. That first southern stream flies on by and doesn't really do anything. It really doesn't. It, it, it's not north enough to really do anything winter weather-wise anyways. But you look at the European, and, you know, it's not a whole lot different, but it definitely is. It's not it's not as vigorous as far as the energy being amped up with either piece of the stream of the energy, but it does try to do some kind of late bloomer here. And at the very end, as it's pulling away, tries to put um, a little, very, very light amount of snow down in areas of eastern North Carolina and just a very light snowfall event for the mountainous areas of Virginia and North Carolina. But it's just not a big deal at all. But that's the thing is when you're looking at this, and I'll go back to the GFS because it's very interesting to me how it shows it so well. This is very close to being a big system. Now, what you need to do is you need to, I would say you would need to speed up the northern stream. You really need to speed this up. Therefore, you have a little bit more cold air to work with. And I'm talking speaking in, in, in terms if you want a big time system here where a lot of areas get to see some snow and, you know, mo most people get excited about snow who watch weather videos, I, I assume here. But you know, this is very close. This piece of energy is very close to combining with this. You either need the southern stream to slow down or you need the northern stream to speed up or maybe a little bit of both. But obviously, you don't want this. Uh, you don't want too much of what I just said, because what happens then is they will phase way over here. And therefore, you get a lot of snow over here. So portions who poor people who want snow, you know, maybe in western areas, of the mid south. Um, or the Ohio Valley, that's what you would be pulling for if you want snow. You want these to phase really early, way over here, there where you have a low pressure cutting through the southern apps. You got the cold air digging down here, and you have these combining forces here to bring, bring big time snow totals maybe in this area. But we'll keep going here and we'll look at the vortice map. A very important, and I know it's not easy for everybody to understand, but this is the GFS, so you compare it with this GFS run. So you back this up here. And I'll try to explain this um, in the best way possible. But you see this, these, this different colors right in here in the Gulf of Mexico. That is this right here, basically, right? So you look at this, and it's at the same hour and everything. At the same time, you have this energy dropping down, which is this to a degree. So this is dropping down. This piece of energy is at the same time the Gulf flow. This energy right here is scooting on through. So this is scooting out too fast and this is coming in too slow or vice versa. But you need these two to phase together for this to become a significant storm. Now, they don't have to phase to, you know, bring snow for certain areas, kind of like what the GFS shows is a solution where it's just a northern uh a northern stream dominated uh, storm and you still get snow in the Carolinas. So you don't necessarily have to have them the phase, but I'm telling you with such a vigorous trough dropping down and a pretty nice low pressure coming out the Gulf, if these were to phase here and come together, then and somehow maybe go negatively tilted, then it would be a big time system there, but it just doesn't happen. And this doesn't pull on this energy. Therefore, it doesn't shoot up the eastern U.S. And this is just basically a positively tilted trough. It's basically just a broad trough and it drops down and uh, pumps out a little bit of moisture. And with a little bit of cold air with it, it brings some snow to certain areas of the Carolinas and Virginia. Now you look at the European and it's, I wouldn't say it's the same, but it pretty much is just a northern stream dominated piece of energy. There's, you know, there's no really connection. There is a little bit of energy into the Gulf, but really it's just a positively tilted trough where it wraps in here and then it tries to pick up on this energy right into here and then try to bring it together. But it comes together way too late, way off the coast of the eastern U.S. So it's just, a, you know basically just too late it's to be any kind of major system at all, especially with the latest era. This is going back and forth big time. It really is, guys. And, you know, 
it's going to continue to do so. It's, to me, this is kind of a fascinating thing to watch, and I feel like this is a good storm to learn off of for any weather enthusiast or anything like that who are in the weather because trying to figure out what this is going to do is going to be a headache, but a learning experience all week. I really think it will be. It's only Monday. This is the latest GFS Ensembles. One thing that has not been showing up much uh, for any support for this winter weather is the Ensembles. They're all over the place. In fact, I just looked at all the panels from the Ensembles. Some of them show it phasing together. Some of them show them cutting. Some of them show it being nothing at all. And some of it just shows a one-piece dominated uh, storm, meaning a, it's dominated by the southern stream, which would likely probably be no winter weather really at all, except some heavy rain to the way to the south, or northern northerly stream uh, dominated uh, storm, which would probably bring something, but it just all depends on how it sets up. So the time frame we're watching is late weekend into early next week, really Sunday into Monday, the 13th to the 14th. But GF, GFS ensembles are a little bit more supportive of what it's been showing here, but still, you know, just, you know, you got a, about an inch and a half mean showing up in Charlotte, which is, you know, pretty decent, um, almost a half an inch in Columbia. But I just don't know, you know, I feel like the more west you go, into up, you know, northern areas of Alabama, Mississippi, into deeper to the west, western areas of Tennessee. I feel like the chances drop a little bit more that this is going to work out. And what I'm basically saying is, you're going to need more of a miracle, miracle in, in a way for this to work out for you guys, because you're really going to need basically everything I just said as far as another north, southern stream slowing down and northern stream speeding up. You're going to need that to happen uh, times two. You know, for it to work out for you guys, if you know what I'm saying. So, we're watching this, see what happens here. It's going to be an interesting setup, but it's crazy to me that the GFS really shows it right here. They're so close to coming together if you're looking at the moisture profiles, but you know, it still becomes a nice burst of snow where a few inches of snow drops down overnight Sunday into your Valentine's Day morning for the Carolinas. So, we have to watch this because this is a few ticks away from being a much bigger system. So um, stay tuned. This is a changing situation and uh, could change to nothing, could change to a significant major storm. So that's all I got, guys. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Y'all have a great night and God bless all y'all.